Social services, social workers. I saw a doctor. Um, yes, yes. I want to acknowledge those colleagues as well because the subject that we are going to discuss, we are going to help each other from our areas of expertise so that we will um, have a awesome discussion. And I know I've noticed some from the law enforcement agencies. That work in the police services and parents law enforcement. Yeah, we also want to acknowledge you and we want to dig into your um, well of wisdom. And I've also noticed colleagues that work with directly with children, whether in school or in the education department. It's almost the same similar stuff that we want to talk about. So I want us to pull together our expertise. We're just going to be maxed in 30 minutes and then we, we should be good for our way. Is that okay? Alright, but before we get into that, I thought before we run out of time, uh, let me start by this particular subject so that when we discuss safety and all other things, we can we can make it. But I just wanted to share with you um, the position of the youth director before we begin in terms of master guide. His objectives and what he seeks to achieve in his tenure of office. How many of us are 16 years here? 16, 16. And I'm 16. How I many are 17? I will always be 16. 18? 19? 20? There is 19, eh? 19? 20? 21? 22? 23? There is 23? 24? 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Okay. If your head was not up, you are out of place. <laughs> Yes, 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 sir. Yes, sir. Yes. If your head is, you may go out and go home, brother John. If your head was not up between 16 and 30, you are out of place. You get the message. You get the message, right? right? I must emphasize, the director says, I must emphasize this point. I take my orders from somewhere. Right, that's the drive that the GC is driving. Repositioning the youth department to the right category of where it belongs. And uh, everyone else who's above the age of 30, we accept your counsel, your instruction, and your counselorship. But the most challenging thing is that there has not been mentorship that has been taking place. Right? When you look at the master guide curriculum. When you are done with the guide class, right? Guide class, how many years? It's 15 years, right? That's the guide class. Then the next thing after guide class is what? Master guide. Yes, it's master guide. So which means when you are 16, <coughs> you must be doing master guide. Master guide is not something that you do when you're 18 or 40. It's a... Uh, you would rather late. Master guide just means master explorer, master ranger. A master is a master of guide class. 
So those that are 16 actually must be in the master guide training. Can we agree Amen. to mentor someone who's below the age of 16 to be a master guy? Yes, so when next day we do the validation, we want to see 16, 17 year olds in We should bring them in teams. Yes. So when you train them this year, next day we should we should have them. Really, we're serious about this point that we must bring the master guide to its original meaning. It has, we have scared young people to think that master guide club is a club of old people. It is not a club of old people, it's a club that belongs to young people. We have defended this thing and we have called it all kinds of names as if it's a holy club of some sort that only older people can get it to know this club belongs to young people. So we need to take it back, reposition it back to where it belongs. So your job as you exit is to mentor someone that will replace you. I will turn about the question, comment, contribution. Okay. 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 Mike, we have a channel. Mike, please. I think you have to come here to the mic. Please, sir. Mike. Now we are 60 and plus. Okay. It's the last time. We, we have a channel. We need to look at the curriculum and the requirements of the curriculum for most times, right? Because we generally now are able to, because of the, the curriculum as it is now, we are able to, to conclude the curriculum within one year. But if you look at the requirements, it says you must be 16 years old to start, but you, must, you can only be 18 to be interested. So something we have to look at is say, if we are able to complete it within a year, then we should allow these 16-year-olds to be invested in most guys. But we are not doing that. Also remember, a lot of the requirements that we are asking from our master guys in training to complete are requirements that, that pathfinders have already completed, like Camping Skills 1, Camping Skills 2, Camping Skills 3. So we don't necessarily need to redo that because we've already achieved it. So these are the things we need. If we are saying, let's stick, and I agree with you that this organization must be led by young people, then we must look at, at our requirements and make sure that these things go up to GC so that they can change it. Amen. You know, I Thank you, Albert. That's a words of wisdom. I think you're right there. We should make those recommendations. Yes, Council. Also about the requirements, they must be baptized with us and find that in the trust of God, they want to be baptized. So I think we need to make sure that we are mentoring them so that we are doing that trust and then maybe before we come with them also uh, getting baptized. And how is it going to happen? I don't know because there is a baptism class. At the same time, there will be a guide class. So, yeah. All right. Yes, we need a requirement of baptism again. In in churches that are I don't know, I don't want to use the word progressive because I don't want to leave others behind, but in churches that are youth friendly, they have actually when you go to the bookstore, there's a pathfinder book that speaks about fundamental beliefs. For the young people. Yes, yes right? Yes. If you speak to your elders about the book and they're in agreement with you, surely the children can go through those beliefs and you can teach them as they go out of the curriculum. That by the, when they are done with the kind of class, they're ready for baptism because they will have gone through the fundamental beliefs. I think that's the only requirement of the change that you must go through fundamental beliefs. So I think engage and um, See how far we can we can take that. Yes, it's true. When we were speaking about fundamental beliefs, those who teach real time faith, I teach real time faith. Each and every lesson of theirs, they attend to the fundamental belief. But the challenge that we have is the changes that we come from that are too traditional. 
if I go to the church and say, okay, my kids are ready, I've been for the um, real time setting for the, for two years, you're teaching them fundamentals with me. And I make sure when I teach my class, I spend more than 10 minutes in those kids, making them to understand the fundamentals with you. But it still goes back, it becomes difficult for us to make these those kids to make a decision because there's someone that is blocking it that you say, but they didn't go through the baptism class. Yeah. They didn't go through the elders. How do we trust you? But this child has been under my care for two years, mm. and I've been guiding this child. Mm. And it is difficult for this child to do that, make a decision for the Lord, because there's someone that is mm. traditional that is holding back the kids. Hence, we do not see them here. Yeah. Yeah. So I think I, I think one thing we have led today from the presentation is that we need to immerse ourselves in the shoes of the young people. And I think as a as a master guide, as a director, and as a leader, the mandate we have when you get, get into the church is to fight for your own children. If it means to the nail, if it means you have to engage the pastor about if it means you have to engage the conference about it, so be it. But you should never give up the fight for fighting against them. Right? Make it a point that you, 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 because, because, come to think of it when you do, ah, this is now, yeah, this is now politics, but it's fine. I will, I will give you the political score. When you take the agenda to the youth council, 